effect what you can do is uh, just extrude these vertex mode space select these one delete these spaces these spaces vertex join these and also join these Select these and uh, bring them little down. Um, okay, now this is ready. Now what you have to do is basically choose a modifier which is an array modifier you have to choose it along the y axis so absolute value uh, relative offset is 1 you have to make it 0 for y x axis make it 1 for y axis so the second strip is added along the y axis now increase the count this is half the tire okay there's another half this side also now there is a slight problem this is going straight you want it circular so what do you do what you do is actually you want this array to be wrapped around a circle don't choose mesh circle choose curve circle okay now this is flat rotate it along the the circle that you are seeing right now Okay, let me let me recreate it. Choose this. Okay. Choose the vertex which is here. Hold Shift, press S, click cursor to select it. So the 3D cursor comes here. Now Shift A, curve circle. See the circle is flat on the xy plane you have to make it uh, vertical which is basically bring it on the yz plane so rotate it along the y axis by 90 degree press r then y and 90 and enter okay make it big okay now what you do is again select this this is what you see the name curve circle now what you do is select this tire choose a curve modifier in this curve modifier click this object and you choose curve circle or this goes haywire why because you have to choose deformation axis now the just keep on clicking different different deformation axis and you get one of them like this so here is your tire now what you do is choose the previous modifier array modifier and add more number of see here um, just choose the circle and go very scale it and scale it and scale it to a point where it just touches the hold the shift key to do a very slow mouse movement Okay, I think there is a small mistake. 
mistake is that there is a space this side and this side um, when it comes back the the space ahead actually adds up here also so it, there are two strips in between the first and the last strip so let's delete this one okay so now it should work now we increase and let's say I think this circle has to be a little bigger So let's choose a circle and then okay. mm. you can choose merge first and last so when it comes back and joins the initial strip it actually merges the first with the last now what we can also do is click here shift s cursor to select it and uh, cursor to select it and then after that just press uh, shift control alt and c origin to 3d cursor and uh, now let's apply a mirror modifier or let's do one thing let's not apply a mirror modifier right away mm, close it let's uh, apply the modifier to this tire first so I think we are fine with this tire and uh, what we can do is apply the this one and apply the second one just delete this so we have a neat and clean tire um, what we do is uh, click at the edge of it cursor to select it choose a mirror modifier Sorry. First bring it here, click cursor to select it, shift control alt C and click this. Oh, it cannot be okay. Shift Control Alt C select this. So the mirroring has actually done along that uh, center point of the body which I have actually brought at the edge. So now this is the tire. we can render it and see also this you seeing because you know the way I've extruded it um, I could have extruded in such a way that this part you wouldn't have seen but then this is the basic actually so this is the way we create tire uh, we can just create a plane to give it a realistic look you know side view Let's see whether it is somewhat here take the tire a little ahead so that tire is completely in the camera view and you have the tire you can actually patch these um, 
these extrusions such that they don't appear inside although whenever you would be making a tire you would be placing a rim so you wouldn't have this uh, you, know, you can't see this because of the rim but still in case you don't want this you know in the very beginning when you're modeling just make sure you patch one of them in the strip and automatically when it is rotated you would never see this so I guess now you know how to make a tire um, I have made a very basic one you should probably you know experiment and try to make it more complex these strips and how to even avoid this thing inside um, you can also do a UV mapping here UV mapping is basically you know pasting a texture here which is basically like the name of the tire Apollo or radial or anything else I would in some of the tutorial also show you how to do that till then take care and happy blending bye